In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. So my fault, so my fault, so my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those who have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. So, Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of the entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was a scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? about himself or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls, and he has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. 
Blessed be God, who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the father except the one who is from God, he has seen the father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. During Holy Communion at Holy Mass, what are you thinking? Do you focus in partaking the body of Jesus? Or your mind is thinking of other things? things while you're attending the Mass. Always take the body of Christ with devotedness. It is not just an ordinary bread. Remember that you are receiving. You're receiving is Jesus himself. By receiving the body of Christ actually or regularly and believing Jesus, we could have eternal life. Don't you want it? Listen to the words of Jesus in today's gospel. I am the bread of life. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Jesus talks about eternal life for those who believe in him and those receiving him in the Holy Communion. Is it really that hard to have faith in Jesus? I don't think so. You wouldn't be here attending the Mass if you don't believe in Him. But you have to take it religiously by the heart that is the body of Jesus whom you will receive. We are blessed that Jesus is still with us and we can receive him. Do not waste it. Keep your faith in him. Always believe in Jesus. It's not too hard to do. We have flesh and spirit. We need to feed our earthly body with bread and our spirit with the bread of life. That is Jesus to have eternal life. Always receive him with reverence and piety. Never doubt and think of it as a simple bread. Don't think of it as a simple bread. Because what you receive is Jesus himself. Amen.
Having heard the word of the Lord, let us come to him with our needs and intentions. For the church, may the grace and love found in the sacraments help all of us grow closer to the abundant mercy of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. For all elected officials and government leaders, may the Holy Spirit help them be attentive to his prophetic message. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who know bodily or spiritual hunger, may God's providence bring them relief and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community, may the gifts of God's word and the Eucharist nourish us and make us grow in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may Jesus, the living bread, raise them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass for the soul of Perla Castro, Ruben Miguel Arias Torian Mani, and all the souls in Purgatory. For the soul of Noel Benitez. We pray also for the special intention of Adoration Felicitas. We continue to pray all frontliners all over the world. Those who got the virus and those who died just because of this virus. We pray also our brothers and sisters who are sick. Let us pray for the speedy recovery those who have cancer, and those are dying in this very moment. We pray also for peace all over the world. Our brothers and sisters experiencing a lot of problems, like family problems, health problems, and financial problems. Those are already bankrupt to their businesses. Let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. Father, we thank you for drawing us to yourself and giving us life. Hear the prayers we offer through your Son, Christ our Lord. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth before you keep human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Prove the vital work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. Glory is me. For the good and the good of all his church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to so acclaim you, O Lord, 
but above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people extols in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer it, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our permanent deacons in our parish, our seminarians, our nuns, and those who are helping our parish Corpus Christi our staff, and all our volunteers. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family all together with our humble hearts, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. So worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on this sin and word my soul. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have been viewed with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ascended. Go and continue to proclaim the good news of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia.